Aludu. Now set up, believe me. Wait till you did talk. I see you for CCTV. What you did talk? See, it's nothing you're not follow. You go help. You don't see how old you I get. Nobody gave me a book out where I feel cold. Who you want me to call now? You know, say we don't get anybody who I won't call. It's not your fault, no matter. <laughs> Sister, I, I don't want to go out there. I don't think go out there. I need you to wrap up this whole thing. I don't I don't want to I don't want to listen, I don't want anybody talking about my kids. Ah! Let me call you back. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You should be sorry for yourself. What is wrong with you? So when you move around, you don't watch? Huh? I'm sorry, I I, I wasn't thinking straight. You please. weren't thinking. I'm sorry. Are you okay? Well, um, I'm sorry if I spoke to you, Voodoo. It's okay. I'm Barrister Sam. I am Susan. Are you sure you are okay? What exactly is the matter? My brother is in detention, awaiting trial for a crime he didn't commit. Could you please, please help me, let me get him out. You see, young lady, it's unfortunate that you cannot afford my legal fee. I know, of course, but please, for humanity's sake, could you please help me? Listen, I don't have anyone else to go to or ask for any help. We are orphans. Listen, the only thing I have to offer is my body, whatever Stop. you want. Stop. Listen, I don't want my brother to go to jail. Please help me. Sit down. Hello. I think we found a girl. Do you have enough information on her? Yeah. Her brother is facing a jail term and she's willing to do anything to make the case disappear. Oh, okay. That's fine. All right. I just got a call from Barrister Sam. He found a girl. Um, what, what is she saying? What she said is not the problem. What we should be talking about is what you're willing to do in 48 hours to get your brother out of jail. Listen, I'm ready, okay? I am ready to do anything. <laughs> Sis, I don't make up my mind to go out with her. I meet one better than Kudu. In talk saying go help. Why are you going to cry? What happened? 
and talk to one family. They say they go help. You know, go go a good time again. But he get waiting. He get waiting. I won't make I do for them. What did I say make you do? What did I make you do? Sis. So? Look, babe, I think we should wait. Wait. I have been waiting for the past six years. Then I don't have any more patience left. We've tried this before, okay? And don't forget the last woman almost died. Then we'll try again. You know we only have one last embryo left, right? Are you willing to risk it to a girl you barely know anything about? Life in itself is a risk, and that risk I am willing to take. And is she willing to pause her life? For nine months? At what cost? The cost of her brother's freedom. He's awaiting trial, Ben. His girlfriend was found dead in his room after taking lots of hard drugs. And he's held for mother. Mother. So I guess she wants us to make it disappear. Ben. For a little price. For our child. You are going to be a father. Think about this. Our reputation would be at stake if anyone were to find out that we have anything to do with something illegal. Think. She's an adult. I mean, she has a right to her choices. It's not like she's doing it for free. And what about the illegality of trying to make a crime disappear? And he hasn't been proven guilty. What if he is? <laughs> I mean, think. The dent that would do to the reputation of this family. I'm sorry, but no. Barrister Sam. Ma'am. Where's the girl? I thought you were supposed to come with her. Well, um, it's something we don't have to do it in a haste. We need to let her process. I'm sorry. Okay. The brother. What do we have on him? Well, from the autopsy, um, it states that the lady died out of overdose of her drugs. And the family is spinning it on him. Do you believe him? Ma'am, when it comes to the law, it's not about what I believe, it's what I can prove. Barrister Sam. Yes, ma'am. Get me everything I need to know about her before we proceed. That is fine, but we need to buy the judge and the police. That is the easiest way to get it done. A transfer will be made to you. I'll get back to you, sir. Yeah. Barrister Sam. Yes, ma'am. Make it work. Trust me. See you later, ma'am. Yeah, you do. You know, I can't help but be worried about all the things that could go wrong with this whole idea. I'm not as worried as your uncle suggesting you get a new wife. Why would you say a thing like that? Benjamin. Uncle? Benjamin. 
What is your problem? Oh, Gene, you are not getting any younger. What are your plans based on getting children for yourself? Uncle, at the right time, God will bless us with children. With children, okay. Can't you see that your wife cannot give you children? Don't you have eyes in mouth? Uncle, eh? uncle, please leave my wife out of this conversation. Who knows? The problem might be from me. You are not the problem. You can never be. Listen, our kindred is known for our productive manhood. I of which you know that. Why not go out there? Get another woman pregnant. Then you will know that you are not the one at fault. Uncle, uh -huh. if you're done delivering the message that you brought for me, I'm afraid I would have to ask you to leave my house. Eh? That's... Yeah, we'll come now. Yes. That's no query. Ha! Ngozi. How I wish you were still alive. Ngwam. Our people say that Anunye we need to know. So I will adopt you. You heard me defending you, right? I did. But for how long? Ben, I need a child of my own. You see, I need to be very sure that you're not going to change your mind when your brother is released. I don't have any reason to. I wanted you to sign this. When will my brother be released? Immediately the implant is done and we've confirmed that you are truly pregnant. Wait a minute. Why will I have to be confined throughout the period? You see, Miss Susan, you will be needing a lot of medical attention because we do not want to hear any form of stories around the pregnancy. No. I think you're only worried that I will disappear with the baby once I give birth. Absolutely no, my dear. Listen, I don't want any children. You, you can have the baby once I put to bed, but listen, I'm just, I'm just doing this for my brother. Sign. I don't want to see you until after nine months. <laughs> okay. It's okay. 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 Okay.
Miss Susan, you will be staying here. And I will advise that you make yourself comfortable. Welcome. Thank you. Um, Miss Susan, this is Mr. Ben. Mr. Ben, Susan. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, Susan. Um, I'm sorry about your brother. And I want to assure you that I'm doing everything I can so he can be out as soon as possible. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. Please, sit. Thank you. So, where are your parents? We are orphans, sir. Our father died while we were little. And my mother died just a year after. That's such a pity. Anyway, you'll be staying here and everything you need will be provided. Thank you so much. Thank you. So I want you to feel free and feel at home, okay? Yes, sir. My marriage ended because I wasn't able to give Jonas a child. He wanted his son so bad. We spent a lot of money. It didn't really work out. So, his people threw me out. My husband's uncle was here last week. I was asking him to get another girl pregnant. In my case, I was willing. I was willing to let my husband get married to another girl that could give him a child. I wanted to make him happy. But he didn't want me to stay. Anita, I won't lose my home to anyone. I will do whatever it takes to keep that girl until the baby comes. She has been duly informed that she cannot have any form of affection for the baby. Susan, have you also been informed that you'll be seeing a doctor for some medical examination before the implant? Yes, sir. I'm aware, but I would like to know when exactly my brother will be freed. Well, about that, I cannot be specific, but be rest assured very soon. Look, I'm a man of my words, and you can take my word for it. We will do all we can to make sure you have a smooth gestation period, but I need you to assure me that you follow through with all the instructions. Yes, sir. Good. Thank you. 
I know you will find this note. I left it behind for you. I could not say goodbye properly because I cannot stand your tears. <sighs> Billy, my whole life is going to change because I am going to be a mother to a child that I cannot love. A child who is not mine biologically. I don't know how that feels, but I am doing this for you. <sighs> I'm sorry for keeping you waiting, okay? It's fine. The embroidery has divided and she's going to have twins. I want this information to stay between you and I. And what about your husband? He doesn't need to know yet. But Susan needs to know. Dr. Man. I am paying you what other embryologists cannot make in six years of practice. I deserve your loyalty. But ma'am, she's going to notice it after all. Being pregnant with twins is completely different. It's her first pregnancy. She's ignorant, naive and inexperienced. She's barely a walking incubator for my babies. Susan should have an appointment today. Yeah, I spoke with Dr. Anne already. Oh, that's nice. Well, it's going to be a busy day for me this morning. Oh, I see. Yeah, I have an appointment with the end notes. The deal went through? Yep, and it's a big one for the company. Oh, wow. That's nice. <laughs> All right, my love, so take care of you and I'll see you later. Sure. Have a good day, okay? Yeah, you too. All right, bye. Bye. Mm -hmm. Hello. You're supposed to go for checkup today, remember? I'm totally sorry. I, I forgot. What time is it? Uh, this is past 10 a.m. But not to worry. I made some arrangements with uh, Dr. Ann. So from now on, you will have regular checkups here at home subsequently. What is it? It's a whole new experience for me. Sometimes I feel funny. Sometimes I feel honey. And sometimes I just feel depressed. I think I need someone that I can hold and talk to at night. Sometimes I feel like I'm going crazy. Um, I understand you perfectly. But then it's just a few months away and it will all be over. Are you okay? Um, it's just this sharp pain in my lower abdomen. Oh. Yeah, but I'm sure I'll be fine. Sure. Yes. Okay. Uh, in that case, I think you have to hurry. You're running late. Well, 
I think I just need some rest before I go. Don't you want to feel your babies? Babies? Are you carrying twins? I'm so sorry. It's a slip of tongue. Oh. How does it feel? Well, I cannot explain the feeling. Thank you. That is the feeling that I signed away. See, it's difficult to carry a child for nine months and not feel anything for that child. wrong with my brother? Something is wrong with him. Please, can I speak with him? Please. Susan, you know that's against the rules. Of Stop the rules! Stop the contract! I want to speak to my brother right now! I'm sorry. You what? You are sorry? My brother is out there, possibly in danger, and you're still here to tell me you're sorry! Susan, you're bleeding! Be fine, okay? Is she okay? Oh, yeah, she's under examination. Oh, God. We just have to pray nothing goes wrong with the baby. Oh, my God. God, please. Nothing should happen to my babies, please, God. <sighs> babies? Is there something I'm missing? Doctor Han. Doctor. Is my baby okay? Is the mother okay? The mother? I am the mother! Please, both of you calm down. Susan is okay. She's hypertensive. It is pregnancy induced and she will be fine. The baby is doing okay. I will seriously recommend bed rest and close monitoring. But she rejected all the maids we offered. She prefers to stay alone. Dr. Wan, I want a PP test conducted immediately she's stable. I need to be sure that it's my embryo growing inside of her. That can be arranged. Doctor. Sefa. What? What was that about at the doctor's office? I don't know what you're talking about. The prenatal paternity test. Ben, how could you even dare to refer to that girl as the mother of my child? Sweetheart, it was a misunderstanding, okay? I, I didn't really mean it that way. A misunderstanding? And why wasn't I informed that we were expecting twins? I, I wasn't sure myself. I thought it was best to let her put to bed first. <sighs> you 
We'll be fine, okay? Where am I? I'm glad you're weak. Your blood pressure went really high. Maybe because you were stressed. Look, you need a lot of rest. All right? What about my baby? Sorry. It's fine. What about the baby? You need a lot of rest. Okay? And I can assure you, very soon you will go home. Trust me. Doctor, please. Do not let anything to happen to this baby. I have to keep my own side of the deal. Please. Okay. Your baby is okay. Nothing will happen to your baby. Okay? But you have to worry about yourself. And you've got to be intentional about resting. Okay? Okay. Thank okay. you. I will check on you again, okay? Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, just rest. Okay. You brought this whole idea to me. And don't forget I objected to it. I brought this idea because I wanted us to have a child. An idea that you're not bothered about. After all, your uncle is going to get you another wife. I guess this is coming because I requested for us to bring Susan in so she can properly be taken care of. Hmm? Ben, that girl is not coming an inch close to this house. We offered her a comfortable home and two maids. What did she do? She rejected them. You're just so impossible. Oh, please. What's this for? It's a normal routine. Every surrogate parent will always demand prenatal paternity test to be performed before the baby is born. Mm. So it's nothing to worry about, okay? Okay. Thank you. So now you need to rest, but ensure you take your medications as prescribed, okay? I'll be checking on you periodically. <laughs> Thank you. I have never known what it feels like to have a sister. You don't have one? No, I don't. I only have a brother. Right now, I don't even know if he's okay. The last time I saw him, he was in detention. Mr. Ben promised he got him out. But as I speak to you, I don't even know if he's okay. I don't know if he actually got out or if he's still in prison. Do you have his number? I don't have a phone. But I, um, I have an address that I can give you. Okay. It's all right. But do you make a deal with them? They promised they will get him out in exchange for my womb. Who will you find, Mom, Madam? I'm looking for Billion Ochoko. Chai. I did talk to her and she's the young of law. I'm sorry, sir. She's still the young of law. Ma, I you something. For this Mbolo, we know the young of Sir, I'm sorry. Okay. No verse. 
Uh -huh. Now, now you the talk. What him be the Afriko Kunana? I don't understand, sir. Kai, this Ololo they hurt my kidney. I be the paper you for brain. What him be the Afriko Kunana? Kunana? What's that, sir? Now your papa Polini. I say, what's it be name? Oh, Billion Ochoko. 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 Don't hear that Kunana for this Mbolo. Yeah. Hey, you, come, come. Babs! I did be now. Come, come. Babs. Taste this in test them. Babs. Now this one, my cousin Bob the pussy money. They grow in Dada <laughs> for two days. Papa, they feel like Kaya. They feel like Kaya. Nah, nah, yeah. <laughs> you feel like yeah, I feel like Bob. It's in the apple now. Uh, take this all along. Mm. Hmm? Go show them that uh, Afrigo where they use you. Hmm? Uh, Ochuko. Ochuko. Ah! Ochuko, they don't, they don't buy them. I ain't gonna miss them. I ain't gonna miss them that time for this. Then I ain't gonna buy them like... in cake bucket. What? Yes, now. Nah. You mean he has been killed? Ah, uh, yeah. They don't ain't gonna miss them for a little bit. I ain't gonna take them down. Nah. Babs, I don't come out with that. It's okay. They lied to me. It's okay. They promised me they were going to get him out of prison and they assured me that he'll be okay. It's... They killed my brother. <laughs> Susan, you can't be sure about that. <laughs> they kept their own promise by taking him out. And then they killed him. But there is no proof that they are behind his death. Susan, look. You don't need this at this stage. This is too risky for your health and that I of the I don't baby. care! I don't care! Take it easy. I'm easy. just gonna die. I'm just gonna join you my family. You are not dying, okay? What am I living for? I just wanna die. Susan, stop! <laughs> stop! Come here. Sorry. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Dr. Arne, you don't look so bright today. What's the matter? Susan's brother has been murdered. What? What? How did you come about this, Doctor? She has been extremely very worried about her brother. And with her current state, I agreed to help her check on her brother, knowing that that will help her to be calm for the sake of the babies. You had no right to do that without my permission. Hey, hey, calm down, please. Huh? Don't forget she's, she's doing this for us. For us? Ben, are you aware? The scandal, this little piece of information could cost if it goes out there. You need to listen. No, to you me. listen to me. Those babies in her womb are mine. I will not let you or anyone ruin my chance of being the mother. Well, I have here the prenatal paternity test results, which you requested. And the results are as follows. That Mr. Benjamin is the biological father of the babies. And that, please go on. You are not the biological mother of the babies. Susan is. Excuse you? How is this even possible? There are possible medical explanations to this. There is no possible medical explanations to this. I am the biological mother. Oh, Dr. Ahn, who conducted the implant? I did. 
Assisted by Dr. Carter, a top embryologist with over 35 years of experience. I want you to listen, and listen real good. I will not sit here and watch you spill those medical jargons. I know you planned this with that little demon. If anything happens to my babies, I promise you, I will make her join her brother. How could you possibly think of something like that? What other explanation am I supposed to get? That the last embryo that I've been protecting with all my life suddenly finds its way into another woman's womb and she becomes their biological mother. Make it make sense to me, babe! I honestly think there is a mistake somewhere. And that's why I've asked for them to conduct a new test. Okay? Please. Yes, Dr. Ahn. Ma'am, we've checked through all the security cameras and none could have a trace of her leaving the hospital. Are you saying that a patient carrying my babies mysteriously disappeared from your hospital with no trace? Ahn, you are talking to adults. Um, Dr. Ahn. Do you ask any of your security if anyone saw her live in this building? Hundreds of pregnant women come and go every day. Then I'll have to sue this hospital for conniving with the patient to steal my babies. We're trying to manage the situation here so that it will not get to public knowledge. Ma'am, because of your family. Oh! You're trying to blackmail me now. Far be it, ma'am. What I'm trying to say is that we have sent people around to look for her. When you find her, tell her she has 24 hours to return with my babies. Or what happened to her brother will happen to her. Please find her, okay? Tell me what you said at the hospital was a result of anger. I meant every word. You had a hand in her brother's death. Being able to sustain this family and every single thing that I've worked hard for requires making tough decisions. Like killing an innocent boy. Innocent. He was never innocent after all. He was just a bit and her in a womb. So you had him killed. So that no one can trace this back to us, right? If you choose to put it that way, then it's fine. I did what was necessary. Who have I been living with for the past six years? Your wife. The woman that made you who you are. The woman that made you Benjamin Idoho. I worked so hard to give you that name. And some dirty little pig that I entrusted my embryo to wants to ruin it. You know, that is not possible. be 
de Afurito. Oui, qui lui dit beaucoup. Um, Teramo is a long story. Listen, my life is in danger. And I don't know who else to run to but you. I mean, they follow the yada color. I said, don't give you spoke. Auntie Rama, I get, I get problem. I, I get wala. You get one powerful family where they for city. And I don't kill Ochuko. Now they won't kill me too. Then they look for me everywhere. Hmm. May they come? For this Mbolo, may they ask question. Who are more happy? And Jeremiah, just stop with that joke. Oh. This is not a joking matter. It's way serious than you think. Maybe we better run and come up from here. This place, no, they save. No way, save past this place. Mm. You get me? My boy, stay grand. Stand by. Oh. You wanna slam body? Give me that. Yes, your honor. Make them come. You have me so. I cook next year. You can enjoy it more. I don't miss your soup. Eh, <laughs> hey. oh yeah, get up. They don't, you don't that is more cover. Thank you. Go, yeah? Most more. Thank You get in Goya? Yeah. Uh, which Africa did they look for again? Susan. She get belly. <laughs> Plenty in Dinge were there for this in Bolo. Get Boku. She came in like yesterday. Her brother is um, Ochoko. What thing they worry you? I'm eh? sorry, sir. Now who you there? You are not bolo for. I'm sorry, sir. Paro. Paro. She almost killed me. Until I'm more. She's overly protective of her own. She's the only surviving family that I have. Let me get this umbolo. You do any how you collect. Tiramo, calm down. I'm not good. Hmm? Calm down. Uh, remember the doctor who I tell you say he helped me for city, Dr. Ann, now she be this. This all along. Yes, now she be this. 
Ils nous versent à des provoques. Attention. Je vois un assoir mori. Nami bira moto. Yami so. Nous lisons. Yami. Je vois un assoir mori. Antiramon. I don't care. Find her. Don't call me until you find her. Can you just let me handle this? The last time I allowed you to handle it, the result was another woman becoming the biological mother of my own embryo. Did you really have to say that? Colin, I didn't hear anyone answer. Your bodyguard is probably outside taking a stick of secret. Oh, how are you? Doing well. And the baby? <laughs> probably dying to get a hug from the father. You. you don't know how badly I needed this. See, sometimes I feel like I'm alone in this world. And that makes me wonder what exactly I was created for. You don't have to talk like that, okay? Of course you were created for a purpose. <laughs> True. True. Maybe to rent my womb to people. Um, look, there are many people who care about you. You are definitely worth more than just renting your womb. I care about you. Life is crazy. Sometimes you might only meet your spouse after you've already married someone else. Meaning? You know, I grew up from a... I grew up from a very poor family. I never wanted to go back to my past. So... I vowed never ever to marry a woman from a poor family. You know, I once rejected someone who cared for me, loved me, and respected me just because she was from a poor family. <sighs> and your wife? How did you meet her? <sighs> I was a delivery boy. I used to deliver parcels to her father. We started off as friends and then we became lovers. 
so you married her for the money. That's one thing I'll go to my grave regretting. She does not regard me. You still feel like a delivery boy, huh? Well, I had more respect then. I don't feel like going home. Hmm. Well, you have to go home to your family. My family's here. And Tiramo. The man good. The man good, well, well. Good. I no trust me. Yeah. For this mbolo, I no trust my game. Akman, tell me see. But I, I, I see chop by a person. And lately, I won. Lucien. Life doesn't give us what we think we deserve. Life only gives us what we're willing to fight for. I learned this too late. My home was gone. My husband was in the arms of another woman. You will not sit here and cry all day. You will stand up and fight all my life. I have always struggled to go up. I have never gotten anything for free. It has been from one battle to another. Because I needed a child. I wanted to have a taste of motherhood. The joy of being a mother. We have to find her. It's your empire. You are the biological mother of those babies. Don't let them play you.
Please. 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 Give my sister a bikini. I'm going to break your head for, for this envelope. You hear me? Please. Auntie Ramo, just please listen to him first, okay? Please. I swear, I only found out Josepha had a hand in his death yesterday. She was trying to cover any tracks of his scandal. Should her brother betray us? You know the lamb? She will not be like any person when they yarn of Bolo for this in Bolo. Eh? What's she saying? Go break your teeth just now. Auntie. <laughs> See. All the politicians representing us here, they all speak big, big, big English, and mm -hmm. at the end of the day, they do nothing. So the people got angry and put a ban because they feel anybody that does speak big English is a big liar. <sighs> no vex. No vex. So what do you want from me? I want you. I want my babies. your wife killed my brother. She killed my brother and I will never forgive her. I will never forgive her. That's exactly why I have to take you out of here. She might find you here. She's dangerous. Oh, let her come. Let her come. I'm done running. Let her come and face to face at Auntie Ramo. You her come. Inside this ball. I do Hello, Susan. Hello, Susan, can you hear me? You need to get out of that place immediately with your aunt. All right, I'll check it and get back to you. Oh, okay. I'll be out in a minute. All right. Oh, hold on. Uh, Philip. Yes, ma'am. Please go. Um, let me give you a call back, okay? Philip. Yes, madam. Do I pay you well? Yes, ma. I've not had a reason to complain, madam. Okay. Um. <clears throat> will you do anything for me? I mean, anything. <sighs> madam, if it's within my power and my salary, I will do it for you. Philip. Yes, madam. I want you to make love to me. Ah, madam. They never dig my grave. Philip. Yes, madam. I will change your life forever. Please. Madam, but my ogre can get you pregnant. Philip. Philip, are you blind? Oh, it's been six years. People are beginning to talk. Philip, please. please. Madam, where I come from, it is sacrilege. I can't do it. Yes, ma. I followed him carefully. He came this way. I am willing to lose anything, but not my husband to that peak. Go see my <laughs> auntie. <laughs> okay, ah, your fashion sense, eh? <laughs> Be careful. What did she say? She's going to see her boyfriend. Oh. Hope <laughs> <laughs> the dust is not this. No, 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 it's fine. It's All fine. Right.
Yes, come in. Good morning, Doc. Good morning, Mr. Benjamin. Please have a seat. You sounded urgent. What's the matter? Mr. Benjamin, I know how this whole process has been for you and your wife. And I know what this really means to her. But I wanted you to hear this first before I talk to her. It's, it's Susan, okay? The implant failed. Congratulations, sir. You're going to be a father. You don't mean it. <laughs> now, you see these two lines? Mm -hmm. It shows positive. But if it's negative, it shows only one red line. Oh, God! <laughs> Thank God. That, that's not possible. I'm so sorry. Afternoon. You bring in Goya. Oh, morning. Yes. I never see your face for this Mbolo. I'm looking for a young lady. She's dark and pregnant. Dark and pregnant. With the Chris. What in the world now? I've been here because of this small mkwale where you give me. Make it yeah, 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 no, for me. Eh? I go reason for you, Dada, now. I don't understand, sir. Uncleers, uncleers, babs, Havana, I the be now. Ah, ah. Papa, who this in the game now? I've been there already. Tell my boy to say he go soon find wife for me. Now she be this. He sent the look for that uh, Nyeri man. That up below where come from city with uh, Nkulus. Hey, well, you yeah, no be headquarters of information for me, Bukau. If they find something, no come here again. Say yam you so. I'll go front, where that hurts. Before they say I do. <laughs> we have to leave here right away. To where? I don't have time to explain right now, okay? We have less than two minutes to get out of here. Please! Listen, I'm not going any anywhere until you tell me what the problem is. Oh, Jesus. Um, Dr. Ann, what's, what's the matter? Your wife is almost here, okay? I think she has someone follow you. My wife? Let her come. I'm not going anywhere. Mr. Ben, you're not thinking straight, but please, don't put her life in danger, I beg you. You betrayed me. You betrayed our marriage. You betrayed my trust. All I have done is to give you a voice. I have never asked for anything in return except this once. And it 
choose to betray me with this snake? And you? You disappointed me. You know I could have your license revoked for breach of patient's trust. And that goes against your medical ethics. You betrayed yourself, ma. When you had her brother killed, you broke the deal. Deal? You dare talk to me about deal? Why didn't you tell me that the implants that I invested my life to protect failed? Why didn't you tell me that the babies in her womb are not my embryo, but the productive work of my husband's penis? All the vital information that you hid about my surrogate. Please, please put the gun down, okay? We can talk this out as adults. <laughs> so I'm acting childish now, right? No, I was not implying so. Sefa, I just... Don't you dare call me that again. You lost the rights to that name. Benjamin Edogo, you are a dog. A dog? I think we should reserve that name for you. Or you think I don't know what you did to our marriage? You think I'm stupid? No, but I kept it because I knew you were desperate to have a child. Oh, so that justifies you sleeping and impregnating my surrogate. Look, I owe both of you an apology. We have a serious problem at hand. Problem? What problem? The implant failed, but the surrogate is pregnant. How? Does it mean she was pregnant before she got here? No. As part of our medical routine, we conducted a pregnancy test on her before the implant. But it was negative. <laughs> that means my brother slept with her. I am not supposed to tell you this because it is patient's confidentiality. Your brother is important. Is he aware of this? Not yet. In fact, I don't even know how to break the news to them yet. It will ruin their marriage. So you lied when you said he was the biological father. If he isn't, then who is? I am. I only found out just a little time ago when Dr. Ann told me. Susan here came to me desperate and I knew she could not afford my fee, so I... So you decided she pays in kind? Brother, I am so sorry for what happened. I... I feel very terrible about it because I know how much trust you and your wife has bestowed on me. I will live to regret this for the rest of my life. And also knowing how much you two needed a child right now, I, I had to just keep quiet. After 
after all these years, your family blamed me for being barren. When it was you, Benjamin, you were actually the problem. I regret ever giving you life. And you, for all the damage that you've caused me, say hi to me for living hell. The Chris. No fear. You carry a talaka. Enter this meboka. You won't fall, my sister. Begin. Now, before I close my eyes, I open them. Plenty of their body go full ground. Meboka go use hand, pack their body everywhere. One. Eh? Discharge. Discharge. Two. Ah! Ah! Three, three, 